Gypsy Rose Blanchard is now saying another reason she left her husband, Ryan Anderson, was because of his food hoarding problem. Listen to this. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and ex-husband Ryan Anderson got into a major fight about his food hoarding ways before splitting up. Sources close to Gypsy Rose say she wasn't fully aware of Ryan's food hoarding issues before moving in with him and caused tension between the pair in their two-bedroom apartment. Ryan allegedly collected and kept food items in bulk. Gypsy wasn't feeling it and told her friends that his hoarding behavior reminded her of her late mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. I'm still waiting on my new microphone to arrive so I can finish my other video on this, but I wanted to update you guys on this. Now, one of my followers on TikTok sent me this video posted by the Daily Mail. So I went to try to find the article from the Daily Mail and couldn't find it. And that's because the information came from TMZ. Like, duh, don't know why I didn't try TMZ first. But here's what this article said. Gypsy Rose Blanchard blow up fight with hubby Ryan over his food hoarding. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ryan Anderson got into a major fight about his food hoarding ways before splitting up TMZ has learned. Sources close to Gypsy Rose tell TMZ she wasn't fully aware of Ryan's hoarding issues regarding food before moving in with him after her release from prison. We're told this caused tension for the couple in the two-bedroom apartment they shared. Ryan allegedly collects and keeps food items in bulk, which GRB wasn't feeling. Gypsy told people around her the hoarding behavior reminded her of her late mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. We're told Gypsy was especially bothered by Ryan's fridge as it was filled with a bunch of old food items that needed to be thrown away. And when he wasn't home, that's exactly what Gypsy did. When Ryan discovered the cleared out fridge, he was not happy and our sources say that sparked a huge argument which left Gypsy feeling shaken. She found it scary he got so worked up about a fridge. However, this isn't the only thing the couple butted heads about as we're told GRB also struggled with Ryan's snoring which made it difficult for her to sleep. Plus, she told loved ones Ryan's kind of a human furnace running very hot at night and she likes sleeping in a cool bed. So there's that. Now, as far as the snoring too loud and being hot at night, I, I have no words. I feel like it just shows like Gypsy's level of immaturity and how much more growing she needs to do because it seems like just such a trivial thing and why everyone thought that this marriage was such a bad idea to begin with. It really seems like Gypsy is working overtime to try to convince the public that it's Ryan's fault that she and him are getting a divorce. In my opinion, this feels like a smear campaign against Ryan because ever since those pictures of Gypsy and Ken getting tattooed were leaked, it obviously wasn't looking good for her and everyone thinks that she left Ryan for Ken. Then we had all the other articles from TMZ to follow of them holding hands. The live stream they did talking about how they're just friends. People are not buying it. She learned from the best, manipulating us. Husband's a special ed teacher. Whatever, look good for parole. You know it did. <laughs> and we know from TMZ that Gypsy said she wants her divorce to play out publicly. And that is likely because she wants to make Ryan look like the villain here. Ever since Gypsy announced that she was separating from Ryan at the end of March, there have been 13 articles put out just in the last two weeks since she announced her separation from Ryan about what is going on with her and Ryan. That's just TMZ. That's not including People Magazine and the other articles that Gypsy sources gave information to. I want to feel bad for him, I do, but um, they both kind of used each other, right? Um, he only wrote her because of a bet. Like, he was pretty much dared by his friend, and that's why he wrote her and married a known murderer. Whatever. Um, but here's the thing. Her, she's a little bit... She, I think, I honestly believe that she wanted to get married. She didn't care who it was, whether it was Ken. I think she really liked Ken, um, and Ken was the person she wanted to marry. But when that when that cut off, she went and she the next the, the very next opportunity she was like fine whatever, and it just so happened to be Ryan, right? Um, she wanted to get married to get parole, right? Because being married can help you get paroled. Because when you go in for your parole meeting or whatever, they'll see hey she's married, um, she has a stable she'll have a stable home. Let's send, let's let her go ahead and be paroled early. Um, blah, 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 right? 
Um, and I believe that's what it was. That was what it was for her, honestly. It was never about love. She never cared about this guy. It was she needed to be married um, to get to, to, to look like she was this um, changed person who would have a home with a, 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 with, with, a, with a person that she made a commitment with and they, they would be they would have a place together, right? And when you go to Pearl, when she went to the Pearl meeting, she like she they, she was married, so like it was like I that I honestly think that was that was that was a lot of the reason why she wanted to get married was because hey, it's gonna look really good when I go to Pearl if I'm in a if I'm in a long long term relationship. Maybe they'll let me go. Um and I can give up a, a lot of other stuff how I've changed. Um she hasn't changed, obviously. Um they're both, they both used each other. She's kind of just like, um, maybe Ryan actually, I don't know. I on it. And you know what? Ryan's getting like, I don't know. They, I don't, I don't really feel bad for Ryan. I mean, it sucks. Um, but like, like, what were you expecting, man? Come on, dude. Ever since she announced her separation, there has been a ton of stuff that has come out in the media. And in my video that I'm working on now, we are going to recap and go over all of it for anyone who has missed it. It's really important to look at timelines and to know when everything is happening because we know her new show is coming out in June. She announced her separation at the end of March, and ever since then, there has been a media campaign to smear Ryan. Because so far, the reasons that she has given for why her and Ryan are separated and getting a divorce are that Ryan was controlling and they had lots of arguments, that Ryan was jealous of her spending time with her father, that they had a huge blowout fight in which she locked herself in a bathroom and Ryan was banging on the door screaming, let me in, let me in. And she allegedly called her lawyer and then someone to come pick her up. In fact, the source told People Magazine that Gypsy was afraid Ryan was going to hit her, which may or may not be true, okay? Obviously, if that were true and Ryan was abusive, that's not cool. But people are just, they're not buying that story. And now we're hearing in this latest issue that Ryan was hoarding food and Gypsy didn't like it. So I posted a TikTok video asking people, are you guys buying all of these reasons that Gypsy is giving as to why she and Ryan are separated? And the vast majority said, no, we're not buying it. I got comments like this. I don't believe anything she says. Nope, not buying it. I'm torn because I was with someone who was awful to me, but you never would have known. Not at all. She straight manipulated him, now making him the bad guy. Nope, not buying it. No, no, not buying it. She's a master manipulator. She proved it previously. I think she cheated with her ex and Ryan caught her and was rightfully upset. The fact that she was seen with her ex-fiance a couple days after separating, she had obviously had communication with Ken before separating from Ryan. And these are some comments I saw on Facebook. She's a classic con artist. I'm starting to regret having empathy for this woman. She's just like her mother. Now that's honestly what I think happened. I think that Gypsy was talking to Ken and Ryan found out about it. Because we know previously Ryan has said that Gypsy likes to make him jealous. And I think that that's what happened here and something went wrong. Now, that's all I have for you guys right now. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you are buying any of Gypsy's stories. And if you would like to follow me on TikTok, I will link it in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. It helps to push it out into the YouTube algorithm. I would be especially grateful if you could subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.